so, you know, we talk about it on a ton of forums, but I, I think the big sports story is really the Phillies lost two yesterday and the NL becomes more of a more a disaster every day. There's big games for them. They wanted to do the good things, not the bad things. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Who do they play now? I think they have one more with the Nats. Um, but yeah, they're, uh, I think they're on a four game losing streak. I think the Marlins are on a three game losing streak. Um, craziness. Wow, dude. Baseball reference still hasn't updated today. Thank God we're not doing the recap show. Oh, baseball reference. Um, they have one as more of, as of today. Yeah. As of today, the four NL Central teams are in. <laughs> The four because the Reds and the Brewers, since they're splitting, are both in. Yeah, so they they have a rubber match tonight, so that's a lot of fun. And dude, Miami is finishing with Atlanta and the Yanks, so like they could be slipping. It's uh, it's pure chaos. It's pure chaos. And dude, I'm so mad at the Angels. Like they're starting to play good baseball, and it's like you guys kicked into gear literally, like four days too late. I'm looking at the NL standings right now. I still you you don't even know what to make make sense of. I mean, no, yeah. Well, the the Mets, the Rockies, the Nats are out. Dead, dead. They blew their chance at zombie mode. I mean, the Phillies look bad now. The Phillies are in a tough place. Twenty nine in that L column. Race to thirty. If the Phillies lose today, that takes them out of the race. Pretty much. Who do they finish with? Do we remember? They're, they're at the Rays. Right. Who so, are probably going to still be playing for the number one seed going into the final week. Like, they're going to probably want to win. Lining up their rotation. stuck with whoever's at seven. But also, you know, everyone they pitch is going to be pretty good, so it kind of doesn't matter. The Phillies lose today. They're out. I'm happy to just say the Phillies are out at this point. That's a brutal it, day yesterday. I'd like the Giants to sneak in, but I mean, how much of a mess is it if every national, every uh, NL Central team besides the Pirates gets in? And it's just crazy because, man, all the NL Central teams, despite what they've shown this year, all have some fun stuff going on, dude. The Brewers bullpen, um, you know, a lot, a lot of people know Hater Devin Williams is filthy. He's I think his ERA dropped to 0 0.38 or something. He's only given up one hit on his changeup all season. And then and that had like it was Colton Wong. It had a 29% expectancy. And uh the other dude, uh Freddie Peralta, like Jim, they can go like with Hader and Devin Williams and Peralta almost the final four, five innings of a game with like three of the best relievers this year. So they're exciting. Uh, the Reds have been exciting because they've got the starting pitchers and and talent. And I mean, the Cardinals are a fun team too. So I don't know, man. It's interested to see if Philly's got any fight and the Giants have been the, the overlooked team the whole way because they're supposed to stink, but they're kind of good. They're solid. It's crazy. I mean, and then the AL has been set for a Mess. while. Mess. But, dude, the Twins are a half game behind the White Sox now. Um, yeah, and the, the White Sox lost first first seed. It's now the Rays. Rays versus Jays, White Sox, Indians. It's still the same. Like, the chain that the hasn't changed. It's getting closer, like you said, there, but it hasn't changed the, the seeding, which is interesting. Yeah. All right, baseball. It's too. Baseball. It's moving too fast. You can't like. It will come down to the last day. Yeah. Which is Sunday, right? Sunday, three p.m. Everybody. 